All right, my friends, welcome to another Columbia video. It is the first day of peacock bass fishing and dad has never caught a peacock bass. I got my guide, Blaine, back here. How's it going, everybody? And uh, our boat driver, Ariel, who also knows a ton about this area. They say whopper ploppers is the way to go. Me and dad are both gonna throw whopper ploppers and try to find some huge fish in these lagoons. Thank you for watching. A couple more inches and this might not be a thing. That's exactly right. You're gonna have to start pushing. Should we get out, bud? Yeah, it'd probably be easy. Just, it'll start dropping off. Bien? Yeah, that's probably good. Looks kind of fishy. What's that? I said it looks kind of fishy. Got to move some rods here. This edge. Whoops. Not here. my best work. Reel it up, reel it up, reel it up. And now pull it straight down. Did it? See? This is about as bleak as I've ever seen. Peacock bass fishing. Keep in mind, we've had worse days at feet. Oh, gee! Yes, Dad! Take it easy, one. take it easy. Like yes, down. Dad! Oh, he's nice. Oh, oh yeah. my gosh. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. he's huge. He looks like a 10 pounder. Oh, he's bigger than that. He's just taking drag. <laughs> oh, dad. That's a massive fish, guys. That is so awesome. Your first peacock is a giant. What am well, I doing? That's why yeah, we yeah. this river. Most of them are, uh, oh, jeez. Keep on tight. Keep it tight. Okay. Yes. You guys don't use nets, do you? No, but we get back here. I'm just gonna have to get it back here. Look at him, Dad. Yeah. <laughs> you all right? I think so. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> he is big. Oh, you got him all messed up. I know. I, I know. Wow, Dad. Oh, he's barely he's on. He's barely hooked. Get him, bud. He got him. No, he don't. No. <laughs> oh, no. The GoPro on, bud? Yeah. Holy smokes. <laughs> you got it. Probably 15. Yeah. 15 or more. <laughs> Isn't that incredible? Mm. Like so? Yeah, yeah. Get your uh, get your hand in his mouth, like a regular large mouth, real like tight, and get this behind here. There you go. But less, so you can. You gotta hold him out. There it is, Dad's 
first peacock bass is this monster. You want to let him go, Dan? You go ahead and let him go. Look at him. Yeah, I'd say that's a good 15 for sure. Ah, he looks healthy yet too. That's good. I hope, he, go. hope he's healthy. Woo. All right, put it there. <laughs> All right, guys, it took about three hours of both me and dad fishing the Whopper Plopper just to raise one fish. Peacock bass are somewhat similar to largemouth bass in that if they do not want to eat top water, sometimes you can throw it all day and get zero or one fish. So for the rest of the day, we're going to try throwing these jerkbait lures. I'm using, ooh, just heard a fish. And we're going to see if these fish are a little more suspended and try and catch some more of those huge peacock bass on this type of lure. Dad was so stoked about that fish that destroyed the whopper flopper. Easily the biggest bass species he has ever caught. That was awesome. Hopefully we can find some more on these baits. That's a real one. That's a real one. Oh, dude. They, wow, they fight harder, man, when you hook them in that moving water. Go. He was right on the line, mate. Oh, hey, traje mi cámara, porfa. Can you bring my camera, please? We got him. Another male. Fourteen? Yeah. You ready? Grab him. Never get used to it. All right, guys, thank you for watching. You know, I appreciate it. Uh, peacock bass fishing, just insanity. And I think I had way more fun watching dad catch his than me catching mine. But I've always said that when a peacock bass hits, it's not, sometimes there's not even a hook set, it's just holding on. And that last strike where he just hit and was pulling drag instantly, just that's just crazy. There is no hook set, you just have to hold on sometimes, which I think is awesome. But I wanted to clear up a couple things. Um, the first video that I posted from Columbia three or four days ago, there was a lot of questions on it regarding, you know, why on earth or how on earth are you traveling right now? So me and dad left for Columbia on March 4th. And the, the virus was a known thing then, but there was barely any travel restrictions. It wasn't that much of a big deal. And while we were gone, 
it turned into a pandemic and it got super serious. And with the tiny bit of service that we could get out there in the jungle, our friends and our family was freaking out telling us to come home as fast as we could or, or we might not be able to come home at all. And it was, it was pretty terrifying. Obviously, I'm in my house. We made it home. Dad made it back to Nebraska. I made it back to Texas. We're doing just fine, but it was nerve wracking being out there and not really knowing if we had a way home and not knowing what was going on. But we made it back. I got a ton of crazy footage for you guys coming up from South America. Hope you enjoyed this one. The fish will only get bigger from here. Thank you guys. And congratulations to my dad on catching that monster. I enjoyed that so much.